Alright guys, so I know it's late, but here we are, here I am to talk about the NFL, my NFL Week 9 predictions. I know it's kind of, a, it, it's, these videos don't get a lot of high views, but it's just something to step away from and do something else outside of, you know, the typical comic stuff. So I thought that would be, kind, I thought this would be kind of fun to, you know, always do. Although, TBH, I might stop after this season. Who knows? We'll see. Anyway, so now we are on week nine, and for week nine, we got a uh, <laughs> sure to be a great game. Eagles and, and Texans. Eagles, moving on. Yeah, it's not even a question. So next up, we have the Colts and the Patriots. Uh, the Colts are a total shit show. Patriots are also fucking frauds. Yeah, Mac Jones and, and Bailey Zappi suck, and their defense is god-awful. Offense is worse. But the Colt, it's just going to be of who outsucks who. Like, that's that's kind of the game we're playing here with most. But then you can make that argument for, like, every NFL team is that they're trying to be like, well, who outs, who, who is going to outsuck who? Like, that's that's what we're looking at here. I am, unfortunately, going to give this to the Patriots because the Colts are just a clown show, really. Then we have the Packers taking on the Lions. This is kind of a uh, must-win game for the Packers, and the Lions are just... Yeah, they're just there. The, f the Packers are fucking frauds. They really are. They are just total and... Incom they are totally incompetent. It's Aaron Rodgers' fault. It is the team's fault. It is Matt LaFleur's fault. Everyone in this fucking organization is just squandered for years talent... And not to say this team isn't talented right now. It's just they've squ they really squandered that talent constantly. They constantly squandered that talent all over the damn place. And their best chance to win a Super Bowl was literally they could have won a back-to-back -back Super Bowls if they just fucking got their heads out of their asses the other two the past two years. Unfortunately, I am giving this the Packers because the Lions just have no defense. If they had a defense, honestly, if the Lions had a defense, I think they would have, and a better quarterback, not Jared Goff. I feel like this team would be so much better. But I am giving this the Packers. But yeah, they're not going far. Next up, we got the Chargers taking on the Falcons. The Chargers um, coming off of, I think, a no, they weren't on a bye week. I don't care. Uh, Chargers and Falcons, who did play in 2020 in literally at what is known as the Choke Bowl. And this game is... I wouldn't call it a Choke Bowl. The, the Falcons are now leading the NFC South, which is a garbage division. It's just total ass all around. The Chargers are the only team that's really trying to keep pace with the AFC South. That's really it. Um... This is a really tough one because the Falcons aren't just lying around and dying, and the chart, uh, the fa yeah, the Falcons aren't lying around and dying or choking most leads they have um, in most of their games. And the Chargers, on the other hand, have injuries. They also have their scheme. Their their just defensive and offensive schemes just don't work. Like they're just straight up ass. They are. The Chargers are also really inconsistent as hell. They've been kind of like frauds for most of their wins. So, but the Falcons like fight hard, especially against that. So, I'm going to go with the underdog here and actually give this to the Falcons. I think with enough moment with this kind of momentum of leading the division, I think they are going to pose a threat to the Chargers. Next up, we have the Buffalo Bills taking on the Jets. Jets, you just suffered your third loss and I think it's only going to get worse because yeah, Zach Wilson is not your guy. He's not your guy. And the Bills are hungry. And, and unfortunately, you're about to walk into a buzzsaw. This is, this is... What I'm saying is, Jets fans, while I do like you and I do think you have a shot of getting a wild card spot still, even if you lose these next three games, it is going to be a tougher road. But I think they are going to put up a fight. Um... I am going to give this to the Bills. I do think the Jets are going to be a bit... Are going to be... Um, a hard team. They are going to be, uh, especially with that run game they have, this game might be, is going to be interesting, but I am going to give this to the Bills. I just think they're a more complete team. 
but I do think the Jets might have some bite in them. They almost won. If it weren't for Zach Wilson being the QB for the Jets, uh, yeah, he w- the, this would have been a much better t- team to beat the Patriots. And I do think they are going to beat the Patriots next go around. But yeah, you're not going to beat. The, I don't. I don't see you beating the Bills. They're going to make a statement out of you. Next up, we have the Vikings and the Commanders. Commanders, you're straight garbage. I don't know how you keep you've won the games you've had. Vikings are insane, and Kirk Cousins is not in a prime time game. So I'm going to give this one to the Vikings. They are just going to dominate that AFC North, the NFC North. Next up, we have the Panthers and the Bengals. Panthers, um, they do show flashes now that they have a better coaching, even if it is an intermediate coach. Yeah, way better than Matt Rule. But the Bengals are also kind of like fighting to compete with the Ravens for the AFC North. I am going to give this to the Bengals, but that offensive line is questionable. And Joe Burrow is looking not as hot as he did before. But again, this is the Panthers, so this is a pro- I do think this... I do think this is where the Bengals kind of get their stride back. Oh, God, this next game, because I'm looking through the list, this next game is going to be painful for everyone watching because this is the Jaguars taking on the Raiders. This is literally the embodiment of a tank bowl. This is everything that is just god-awful. Um, yeah, I'm going to give this to... I really just... I just really, this is one of those games where you just want to see like a nuke dropped on the entire fucking stadium and nobody wants to watch it. Like literally that's what we're looking at here is like a, a game where no one wants to win that. No one, no one should be subjected to this. I'm going to give this to the Jaguars though. If I had to pick, it'd be the, the Jaguars because Doug Peterson is a slightly better coach than Josh McDaniel. And I'll say this. After this, if the Raiders lose this game to the Jaguars, even though yeah they they should uh, even though I did pick them over the Broncos, um, I am gonna say that if the Jaguars win, yeah, Josh McDaniels needs to be fired. He's wasting talent on the Raiders. Anyway. So moving right along, the Dolphins and the Bears. Bears are putting up a fight. They did lose, but they did put up a fight, even though, you know, there were some mistakes made. Um, But the Dolphins are just now with Tua back and having new offensive weapons and defensive weapons. Yeah, unfortunately, Bears, you are, um, you're just waiting for the, you're just waiting for the draft. That's going to be where you win. I'm giving this one to the Dolphins. Next up, we have the Seahawks taking on the Cardinals. Cardinals, you are ass in every form. And I don't know how the Seahawks are winning with Geno Smith. Um, I'm giving this one to the Seahawks, definitely. Next up, oh boy, we get another tank bowl, but for all a former Super Bowl champ and a former seven-time Super Bowl champ. Buccaneers taking on the, the, the LA Rams. Oh, goody. Oh, goody. Neither team deserves this. Neither team deserves to win this. Um, I am The Rams are injured. The Bucks' offensive line is, is straight ass. I am going to give this one to the Rams because the Bucks, uh, the Bucks are fucking frauds. They have consistently shown that they are, you know, they're basically just frauding. You know, they are just literally in every sense the frauds they are. Tom Brady should have retired. And, yeah. The Rams seem to have the Bucks number. That's kind of the thing I've noticed. Even when they were injured in the playoffs, they still managed to, you know, eke out a win in the divisional to keep Brady from, you know, winning. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to give this one to the Rams. It's just, I feel like the Rams have their number, and the Buccaneers are just not good. They are just not a good team this year. Anyway... Moving right along to, oh boy, I am so ready for this, the Sunday night game, which is the my Tennessee Titans taking on the Kansas City Chiefs. The Chiefs have the most lethal, one of the most lethal offensive lines in the uh, NFL right now, and they just came off of a bye week, and they're going to be playing at home. The Titans, I, I I love my Titans, I really do. It's going to be a slaughter. It's going to be a straight-up ass-kicking. 
I, I got to give this one to the Chiefs. Even though I, I want to stick with my team, I just already know we are walking into a death trap with um, with that uh, against the Chiefs. Then again, the last two times I've said this, they've eked out a win, but who knows. And then finally, we have the Ravens taking on the Saints um, for our Monday night game. Ravens... Yeah, you got some new toys to play with in the um, in the trade le- deadline. Saints came off of a win with uh, um, against the Raiders. I'm gonna give this one to the. S- this one's really hard to tell because yeah, it's one of those they just need a QB and they'll be better. But yeah, the Ravens maybe they won't blow leads after they got that win. They won't blow any more leads. So I'm gonna give this one to the Ra- to the Ravens. But the Saints might the Saints defense might give some fits to Lamar Jackson. Anyway, so there you go, guys. That is pretty much my week nine predictions. But again, with these um, with this season, who the fuck knows anymore? But anyway, hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the multiverse.